Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. As per popular demand, I'm making a video today to show you how to properly grease the augers on your snowblower. And in the video, I'll show you how to properly grease them if you have grease fittings on the augers and also if you don't have grease fittings on your snowblower augers. So today I'll be showing you this on a few different models of snowblowers, including a Honda snowblower as well, and some made by MTD. And today I'm going to start off with my own machine. It's an Aaron snowblower that you saw in the previous videos that I showed when we had that big storm recently. And what I do recommend when you do this procedure is to disconnect your spark plug from your snowblower. On the older Tecumseh's you will find them on top here. And on different machines you will also find the spark plug boot right about here. So you want to disconnect it just for safety precautions. On my machine here, I've got two grease fittings on each auger. So it's a lot easier to work on your machine if you have it tilted up like this. And don't worry if you don't see the grease fittings right away because when you remove the pin, you will be able to spin the augers to locate the grease fitting. Now the better way to grease your augers is to remove the shear pins on your machine. And I've went ahead and put some nitro gloves on because it might be a bit greasy. Now pull the pins out. And I'll get the other side off here as well. Now once you've removed the shear pin, you'll be able to spin the auger on the shaft here. What you want to do is spin it until you see the grease fitting. In this case, there are two grease fittings on this machine, one here and one there. Now grab your grease gun and it doesn't really matter what grease you have in your grease gun because the augers are attached to the auger shaft. And basically we're just putting some grease in there to stop the augers from actually seizing on the shaft. So it doesn't really matter what grease you're using. If you were greasing other parts on your snowblower that were moving against each other, then you might want to use a low temp grease. What you want to do is get your grease gun right on these grease fittings. So I'm going to start with the one right here. I'm going to lock it in there and I'm going to give it at least five good pumps. And watch over here as I grease it because you will see some grease coming out. Three, four, five. Now that's pretty excessive. So what I'm going to do is just scoop up that grease here. And what I'll do with that grease that I just scooped up is just put it in between the auger and the auger bushing right here. Just kind of pack it in there. And I'll do the same on this side. Now I've already greased my machine earlier in the fall, so that's why there's more grease than normal coming out at the ends. Okay, let's give it one shot here. There are three shots will be enough here because like I said, I've already greased it. And it's normal to see some grease coming out of the shear pin hole here as well. That's kind of good actually. And also on the Aaron snowblowers like this that have two grease fittings, the good thing about having the grease fitting on this end of the auger is that it actually squeezes the grease right to the end here so that it greases the auger bushings at the end of the housing. So that's a super good feature here. And now one of the most important things to do after you've squeezed in the grease is to turn your augers. Just make them do at least five turns like this and you can even push down on the grease here where the shear pin goes in to get it back in the hole. And I'll just do the same on the other side here. Lots of grease in there. And watch the grease coming out of the shear pin hole. So I've only put five squirts in here and I'll do the other grease fitting over here. And again, watch how the grease will pack itself in the auger bushing here. There, that will be enough grease here. Now what I usually do is scoop up the grease again here. I pack it into the shear pinhole here. And then the excess grease, I pack it into the auger bushing at the end. You can never have too much grease, guys. It will save you tons of money down the road. And again, spin the auger to get that grease all over the shaft inside here. Now you might have a bit of grease come out when you put the pin in. So just scoop it up and just kind of spread it around the bolt here. 
Another trick I often show in my videos is to put anti-seize on the pins before you reinstall them. Although the grease will also help your pins from seizing, the anti-seize is actually better. And now just tighten up your share pin, but don't tighten it up all the way, guys. I'll show you that in a second why. And this is about the amount of play I leave in my pins. And the reason you want to do that is so that the pin breaks if you hit something. If you've got your pins tightened up all the way, what's going to happen if you hit something, the pin will probably not break and then you will end up causing damage to your gearbox. It's a lot cheaper to buy grease and install your pins correctly than to repair your gearbox. And it's for the same reason that you want to grease your augers because if you don't grease them, what's going to happen is the augers will seize on the auger shaft. And then if you hit something, the pins won't break because the whole auger is seized on the shaft and you're going to blow your gearbox. Okay, so I just showed you how to grease your augers if they have grease fittings, which makes it really easy to do. But a lot of viewers are asking me, how do I grease my augers if there are no grease fittings? Well, in the next clip, I'll show you just how to do that. So this smaller MTD snowblower here will be a good example of how to do this. Again, I've tilted the machine here to make it easier to do. And as you can see on this machine here, there are no grease fittings on the augers. All the blades are separate here, as you can see. There's two shear pins on each side of this machine. So what I recommend here again is to remove all the shear pins from your machine. Now the MTD machines or Cub Cadet and different models made by MTD will have these little shear pins with a clip. You just push the clip out and you might need some pliers to just kind of finish the job here. Next, push your pin out. Now, sometimes the pins might be hard to get out and you may have to use a quarter inch pin punch to punch them out with a hammer. Okay, so I got all the pins out and the augers move freely. Now, I'm not going to be using the grease gun to grease these augers today. I will be using one of these products and my favorite for this is this one here. It's a spray Loctite. You just spray it with the straw here. And the reason this is my favorite is because it's actual anti-seize and you're sure that the augers will not seize with that sprayed in between them. And this product here will stay on the machine a lot longer than any other product here today. However, not everybody has these in their garage. So what you might want to do is get one of these products over here. Any kind of lube will work, even an oil can with transmission oil and motor oil mixed together. So my pick today here will be the anti-seize and it's very important that you have a straw at the end of the can that you will be using. And the reason you need the straw is so that you can spray in between all the cracks here and the holes where the shear pins go. So what I'll do is start on the left hand side and what I will be doing is spraying inside the hole where the shear pin goes. And you can spray this stuff liberally. So use it generously guys. And again, I'm going to spray here right in all the cracks here. It won't make a mess, so make sure you have a rag handy. And you might want to wear safety glasses because sometimes when you spray in these cracks, the fluid may shoot back toward your face. And again, spin your augers. Now, if you use too much of this stuff, it won't cause any problems. It will just make a mess on the machine. No big deal. And while you're at it, you might as well grease the auger bushing right here. And for that, I'm using some spray white grease. Again, spin your auger. These are parts here that move against each other. And now line up the holes again for the shear pins. And again, for added protection, I will put anti-seize directly on the pins. And as you can see there, it's a little messy. You might want to wear your gloves. And here's how you put the pins back in on these shear pins. You just line it up like that and push. And again, I'll do the same thing on this side here. And get that straw right in between the cracks, just like that. 
you want it to get between the auger and the auger shaft. And again, don't forget the bushing at the end here. Now I've squeezed a bit of grease out of my grease gun and I will just pack it in with my finger. I thought I'd show you guys how to do that as well. Not everybody has uh, grease in a spray can. And again here I've coated my sure pins with some anti-seize. You might want to consider using anti-seize for this procedure guys, especially if you have salt when you blow your snow. I get a lot of uh, snow from the snow plow from the highway and there is a lot of salt in the snow and salt can actually accelerate the corroding process or the rusting process I mean and make everything seize on your machine. And now what I'll do is clean the mess that I made here. There's a bit of anti-seize under here. And that's all there is to greasing the augers on your machine when no grease fittings, guys. And here I'll show you how to do this on a Honda snowblower. This is the newer style HSS 724, but it'll be the same procedure on all Honda snowblowers. So what I do with the Honda snowblowers here is I remove the shear pin so that the auger can turn. You always want the auger to turn freely before you lube them up. And this is the preferred fluid that I like to use on the augers for the Honda snowblowers. The reason for that is because this stuff is awesome. It gets all in between the cracks and it doesn't evaporate. It will actually leave a film. So I spray it right in here. As you can see, it's pretty thick. And I put a cardboard below just to catch any drips. So basically what you want to do is spray it right in here, right in between where the auger connects to the shaft here on this thing and right in here so it gets in there. Now the shaft on the Honda snowblowers only goes to about here. So it's not a full shaft from one end to the other usually. Once you're done, just reconnect your spark plug boot on your engine and I'll do the same here on mine. Now another good tip is to put a piece of cardboard under the auger housing so you don't have a mess on your concrete. Now what I recommend is that you do this procedure at the beginning of every winter. That way you're going to keep everything lubed up and nothing will seize. So I've also put a link to a video in the comment section and in the video description of what happens when you don't do this and your pins are seized. It's not a picnic guys, so it's much cheaper, like I said in the video, to do this, spend a bit of money for the lubricant you're going to use than to end up having to replace your gearbox. It's a lot cheaper. Also guys, your mechanics will love you if you bring your snowblower to the shop and you've already put anti-seize on everything. It's going to save you a ton of money in labor and also in oxyacetylene fees. Thanks for watching guys and I hope my video has helped you. Remember to do this every single year on your snowblower to save yourself a lot of money. Have a great day.